Hello and welcome to this floss tube special. My name is Paula. You can find me on Instagram underneath the 502 Stitcher. I'm going to show you a mid-year whipper parade. Um, projects I've been working on and projects I have not been working on. Um, so decisions will be made. Um, there will be some that I'm not enjoying it. Um, I'm not wanting to stitch them. So I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, repurpose the floss and hopefully the fabric I can save. Um, you know, they're just not enjoying them and why well, put the time in when we work so hard on them, you know? So I'm going to make a couple decisions on projects I definitely know. Um, if you're new here, I hope you like what you'll see. And you'll stay and subscribe and join along with my floss tube journey. If you're returning, thank you so very much for coming back. I appreciate it. Um, a little bit about me, just in case that you are new here. My name Again, my name is Paula. Um, I live in Kentucky with my husband and our three children. Um, I've been cross-stitching for close to a year now. I started at the end of summer, fall of last year. So I'm pretty, a newer stitcher. I'm trying to um, get into the, some of the higher count fabrics, but mainly I like Ada. That's kind of where I feel comfortable with. Um, and um, I'm trying also to add some more designers into my project versus the, just a few that I really, really like. Not that I'm not going to do them, but I just really like those. I'm trying to add some of the other designers in too. So we'll go ahead and get started here. This is my basket of whips. <laughs> I got quite a few to show you. Um, the first one here, it is Flea Market Flowers. It is by Lori Holt. It's a pattern I got from the Fat Water Shop. And um, I am doing the call for color because I bought a floss pack from um, that quarter shop. And I'm doing it on 25 count um, potato Lugana, or 25 count Lugana in the colorway potato. This is what I have done so far. I did do the outline and then I did the um, stems and started into this flower. So I think it's turning out pretty well. Um, this is an inert tube. I started this the end of April for my an anniversary start for 16 years being married. First one. The next one. Um, this one was my birthday start in April. It is Quaker Garden um, by Liz Math or Hello from Liz Matthews, and I'm doing the bottom one. She has a very pretty blue. I am doing purple. Purple is my favorite color. Um, it is in the Classic Color Works Aunt Marie's Violet. And um, this is an Inert Tube too. Um, and I'm doing this on a 28 count Mushroom Lagana. Or a 28 count Lagana in the colorway Mushroom, sorry. <laughs> and this is what I have done so far. I'm really enjoying it. It's turned out really pretty. Um, go in. Hopefully, before too long, I'll be done with it. Next is um, a pattern from um, Stitching with the Houseways. Let me pull up the pattern. It was in the um, of course, you can buy it on their website too. The Punch Needle and Primitive Edition 2021 Spring. And it is the Buffalo Plaid Spring. This one's in an Amazon bag. This one is on 14 count black beta. The call for colors, but in the DMC conversion. And this is what I have done so far. Not a lot. Need to get working on that. Of course, spring's over now. Maybe I should start getting on and going with the fall. <laughs> Maybe get up there. Next. Well, office ladies bag. I don't know if you're an office fan and um, the podcast that they're doing. This one is a Christmas pattern. Um, it is from, I bought the, um, the magazine off of online. It was, let's see, I don't know what year it is off the top of my head. I don't know what year it is, but it's one of the Christmas dish. I guess it's 2020 because it's got the 2020 ornament. It is Fairy Wool in the Wood by Cassandra Kafori.
And this is what I have done so far. Definitely need to get on it. <laughs> Oh, and this is on like a 14 count Ada oatmeal and I pulled my own colors. Um, our cat is an orange tabby. So I was trying to make it look like him versus like the calico. Yeah. And they're just colors for my stash. Um, this is one of the first projects I worked on and I ordered a whole bunch of stuff from um, Amazon and I did not write any of the numbers down. I just put them all on the bobbins and did not realize how important the numbers were. So. Now, this is one of my 12 by 12 starts. Um, on if you're not familiar with that is, um, they are hosted by um, Kia B and um, Pam. I just keep stitching. They did um, start 12 projects for um, New Year's, so you work one hour on every project. This is Christmas Barn by Primrose Cottage Stitches. And this is what I have done. Um, this is a 28 count fabric that I coffee tea dyed. And, um, and that's what I have done there. I think for the month of July, I think I'm going to make this one of my projects I really want to work on and get it done. Because it's really pretty. Ready to do. And again, um, some of the colors I got called colors. I did get the week's dye that is um, what they called for. Or I think maybe I am kind of doing the call for colors. It might be wrong. But um, some of them I don't have the number on it. Like that one, Bobman. But... Like, I think for like the colors I could figure out, I pulled out the right colors. Hard to know, I haven't touched that since January. Okay, it's almost like a present. You don't know exactly what you're opening up, so I'm just pulling it out. Um, this one is um, this Hands On Design Seasons 2. And this is one of the projects I started on, and I just haven't enjoyed it. So, I mean, I'm going to keep up because I'm, I mean, I've paid for the pattern and all that stuff, but I've only done January and then part of February. So, this is a 16 count fabric that I coffee tea dyed myself. So. This is not the call for colors. Again, it's just colors I pulled. Um, is from obviously it can be from Sitting with the Housewives. I think I know what this one is. Yeah. This is up on the housetop. I started this last October. This one I need to really work on too and get it done. This one will be the call for colors, but DMC conversions. <coughs> Sorry. I don't talk a lot, so when I get talking on here, I get coughing. It is on a um, black 14 count Ada. And again, the call for color is just the DMC conversions, but I need to concentrate and get them to you. And then it's in a bag um, that I got from the fat water shop. I don't know that I'm on the Amazon bag, so that's okay. This one, um, I do not have the um, the cover picture for because um, it was from a printout that I bought from um, Crunch Needle and Primitive Magazine. So I'm sure what it is the winner one. This is as far as I got because I've messed up on the border and have to rip it out and fix it. You can see right there, it doesn't match up. So I need to rip that out and fix it. And just put it away after I messed up. <laughs> so, dropping blocks out. Next we have, oh, this was a stitch along that I was doing with Katie the Novel Stitcher. And um, I had did this on, I think it, this is a, like a 28 count fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I just went on the fabric. Um, I've already, I have, I'm not going to keep this one, but I have decided I'm going to be doing something different with it. It was the Best Buddy style, I think. And um, let's see if I can find the pattern I was doing. 
It was from the Just Cross Stitch magazine, um, February of 23. It is Rabbits in Winter by Kat Katatrina, and I'm sorry, I'm not going to pronounce her last name. I will not know how to pronounce it. I am going to, because um, I was up here in the top, and the border was kind of intimidating me. I'm going to probably cut it down and kind of do the bunny and maybe the house and the trees, or maybe just the bunny and the trees. I've already decided on this one um, instead of getting rid of it, because I do like the pattern. I'm just going to alter it a little bit. And again, this is on the fabric I got from Hobby Lobby. I think it's a 28 count. Um, I don't know if it's a linen or what it is. Honestly, I don't have the paper anymore. But um, I just remember I went loving the fabric. Next, see what we have. This is one I got from Punch Needle Primitive Magazine. It is the Winter Cardinal Etching by... Celia Turner. I think it's hands-on design. Maybe. Let's see. And I do have quite a bit of this stuff. I do need to get on it and work on it. This is on um, a 14 count fabric. I can't remember the color, but I got it from Hobby Lobby. It's kind of like a gray color. And then I was doing the cardinal in red. And, and um, I think the trees on the other one was white. But um, we don't really have a lot of birch trees here, so I was going to do brown for like our woods. Turned out pretty good. And definitely not call for colors, it's ultra much. This is one I'm going to be getting rid of. Um, I had talked to you all about, or if you're returning, talked to you about this before. This was one of my um, mania projects, and then I decided I'm, I just can't make myself do it anymore. Um, this one, let's see, I don't have a picture of, or yeah, I do. It is um, Current Moon by Autumn Lane Stitchery. It's a very pretty pattern. I'm just going to join it. There's a lot of color changes, and um, I'm just going to join it. I might go back later on and do the cat, but for now, sorry, I have my floss all wrapped around here. This is all I have done. So I'm going to stop with this one and maybe cut this out and try to do something with it and just not worry about that anymore. But like I said, I just want to join it. And um, it's a beautiful pattern. I just want to join it. That one will be getting ripped out of this. Next, let's see. This is a Christmas one. Um, I got it from um I downloaded it from I had bought um a CD from Amazon where it shows you um where it has a lot of the Christmas um I'm not sure you thought a lot of the Christmas magazines that they put out over the years, like it's like 10, 15 years worth of magazines. And this was one that was in it. And it is called, let's see if I have the name of it on here, The Victoria Sampler by Thea Duke. It is on a 28 count copy, Monaco copy tea dad. Um, this one's a challenge because this one, these are one over one. I need to finish that up and get that started because it's not a big stitch. I just haven't worked on it, so I need to work on that. This is one I'm going to get rid of also. Um, this is the Temperature Cross Stitch along with that quarter shop. Um, I think part of the reason why I didn't necessarily care for this one, I was trying to make reels on Instagram with it, and it just got too much, and I'm just not enjoying it. I'm trying to find the picture of what it looks like. So every day you basically cross it to stitch for what your um, temperature is locally for whatever an average temperature. I do think I might go back and do this for like the year I was married, because I have to think about, I mean, 
I don't know where I would put one for every single year. So I think I might go back and do one for the year I got married. The heart would be pretty for that. But um, this is what I had done. I haven't done it since like I think April. It is on a 25 count white Lugana. And um, the call for colors, I bought the um, gloss pack from the back there. So that is pretty says That's the one I think I'm going to get rid of. I'm 99% sure. Next, we have um, July Calendar Crate from Stitching with Housewives. This is done on a 14-pound um, Whistle Chalkboard Ada. This is what I have done so far. We have a few more days in June, so I'm hoping to get this done and up on the wall for July. It is in a nerd too. I have quite a few of those. I really like them. This is another office ladies bag. Sprinkles. What do we have in here? Oh, this is um happy birthday from Stitching with the Housewives. I am doing these for each family member in my family. We have a birthday coming up. We have August, September, October, and November, and December birthdays coming up. Actually, a couple of those months have two. This is all I got started on this because I haven't worked on it in a while. So, the start and the balloons. And um, those are semi the color. I think they are the color for colors. I remember right. But I plan to some of the family members change them up. Oh, this is a Stitch People mag or a Stitch People um, portrait I was making for mom and dad. I need to finish that up. Um, I haven't worked on it in a while. But I may just start all the way over because I'm sure my style has changed since I first did this. But um, I was pretty proud of this one um, so far because I got the, my daughter's wheelchair and her ventilator on there. So I need to finish working on that because obviously they don't have patterns for that kind of thing. But um, I got that started. I need to get it worked on and get it finished. But that's what I have so far. Next is Hive Rolls. This is a stitch along going on um, with a group of ladies that went to the Annabella's um, winter um, retreat. And um, they're doing this. You work on one section for every month. And for I got jeans done. Um, so I'll show you all of that. And this is what I have done so far. It is the Call for Colors. Um, they are, it's on a 25 count white Lugana. I'm really proud of how this one turns out. I think it's my biggest project I've, I've done so far. And this is in a bag from Dot Dot Goose Design. Next is a Stitching of the Seasons with Stitching with the Housewives. It's from the Fat Quarter Shop. Um, it is a monthly or um, a quarterly rather um, pattern. And this is summer. Sorry, it's going to clink. This is what the summer looks like. I am doing the call for colors. So I got the floss pack that came with it from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, this is on a 28 count um, fab, um, fabric. I think it's fabric flare. In the color, I think it's like um, pound board, I think it's what's called. Sorry if that's wrong. I have done so far. Get my booty and gear and get that one up before the summer's over. This one is, a, I can't show the actual pattern, so I only have, I don't have my actual pattern down here. I forgot to grab it. It is just my working pattern. Um, it is a Lizzie Kate, and I'll try to insert a picture of it if I can. All, um, into all a good night. This is all I have done on before. It's on a 28 count coffee tea dad Monaco. Um, it's not the colorful colors, color mustache. Um, I know how I haven't worked on this. I remember this is one of the first projects I start working on, and I messed up. 
and didn't have enough in there. So I need to kind of pull up the top half and read what's in that. But this is a very cute pattern. I'm going to get that done for Christmas. So that was my. Who knows? I might just rip it all out and start all the way over. Might be best for it, honestly. So next we have, um, this one is a pattern. And I'll have to try to insert a picture of this one also. This is Lover's Grave um, by Lindsay Swearing, if I remember right. If I'm wrong, I'll try to add it in. This is done on a 14 count white Ada. Um, it is the call for colors. And this is what I have done for you so far. And um, if you're new here, you don't know the story behind this. Um, this was a book I was looking at the library, and my husband said, ooh, that's creepy. So, but I thought it was cute. So now I'm going to make it. <laughs> and, and it says, together forever. And it's, it's really good. This is one of my mania things, too, that I worked on and got quite a bit done for mania. So I, what I did for mania, I did... Um, I took five projects and worked on them Monday through Friday, like for an hour. I think two. I think I did two hours each. I got quite a bit done on that one. And um, this one is a pattern from Stitching with the Housewives. Um, I'm doing this one on an 18 count um black Ada that I got. And let me show you the pattern. Um, let's see the winter one. I had originally done this on 14 count black Ada, but then redid it and then tried it on an 18 count. So this is the pattern. It is the call for colors, just the DMC conversion. I need to get working on this and get it done for winter next year because it's really pretty. And um, I had did the other one on the 14 count though because I bought both of them at the same time. Um, and you can see this is where I had started it and then restarted. These are my, oh, I forgot to show you too. These were 12 by 12 starts. So I did get this one done during Mania. But did not get this one done during media. Because I kind of like filled in. And once I got this done, I got this one started. And you can see the size difference of what an 18 count is versus a 16 count. Quite a bit. Because so I'm thinking um, I'm going to do some Christmas ornaments on the 18 count. Daughter Squishmallow people was in the bag for some reason. And um, the call for colors, if I didn't say that, this is DMC conversions of it. This next one is um, a Stitching with the Housewives pattern. It is um, the calendar crate in the month of May, and I do not have the pattern. Um, this was a floss pack that I bought from the Fat Quarter Shop. Um, so it is a call for colors of the classic color works. I forgot. This is what I have done. This is a little um, needle minder from Mad Reminders, Mary Poppins. my favorite Disney movie. Um, in their tube. And um, it is 14 count chalkboard um, bushel um, chalkboard black. Get working on that for next year. Obviously, May's past. <laughs> next. This one um, is, um, it doesn't really have a name. I've been calling it Honey Hive. This is one of the very first projects I started when I first started cross stitching. Um, I got it from a book of the library. Let me try to find it. Sure. Oh, I need a pattern. It is in this book by Susan Bates. Um, it is cross stitch mini Moffat's nature. And this is the pattern I'm doing. And and this is what I have done. Um, when I first started this, I did not leave myself very much room to finish it. So hopefully I'll be okay. <laughs> That's what I got done so far. And for Mania, I worked on it and did most of the, I did all that flower. So I need to get working on it again. It's very pretty. And yeah, I got a few more. Um, this one is a pattern I like also it was also one of the first ones I started working on. I was trying to have it done for Mother's Day of last year, but didn't get it done. Didn't get it done Mother's Day this year. Sorry, Mom, <laughs> if you're watching. Um, this is from um I think it's called the Stitch Pattern or Stitch Stitch something. I got it off of Etsy. Um it is just the best mom ever. 
I have all of the Moffat done. I just need to do all of the fill in a white. And as you can see right here, start it with the white. And then it's got to go all the way around. It's supposed to go way, way, way out here, but um, I'll see how far I go. But it's the best mom ever. It was a call for colors um, that the pattern called for. It is on a white 14 count Ada. I think it turned out really cute. I just need to get my booty in gear and get that one worked on too. All it is is filling. Crap, awesome. Next, um, this is the home pattern by Stitching with the Housewives. And I'm working on the H. I'm doing the DMC conversion of the call for color in the white, or also white. It is on black 14 count Ada. I got a good start on the H. You don't realize how many stitches are in this. So you get going. Excuse me. So you get going. It's a lot of stitches. But I want to get it done and hang it up maybe like on this wall right here. That wall over there. Two more. Almost done. Um, this next one is um was also a 12 by 12 start. It is Lizzie Kate, the spring sampler. This is also one I did for um Lit Media. And got quite a few, a bit of it done. So that's what I got done so far. Need to get on that. Maybe next year have it done. And lastly, my last whip is also one of my newest starts. Um, this is a stitch along I'm doing with Nicole Spore on Facebook. Um, for her, um, I think one year was it? It is. This is Cherry Hill Stitchery. The Blue House Neighborhood. And this is what I have done so far. It is not the call for colors. Um, it's colors I picked out of my stash. Um, and it is done on a 28 count coffee tea dad Monaco. The one that comes like the colors coffee tea dad. And this is on the nerd shoot. That is all my whip for the mid-year. So um, thank you so very much for joining me. I hope you liked some of the projects you saw. And I hope that if you're new, again, if you're new here, you'll subscribe and stay around. And I'll see you next time. Bye.